Imagine fighting for your country only to be denied a cup of coffee because of the color of your skin. That was the reality for countless black soldiers in World War II, including Corporal Rupert Trimingham. In 1944, while traveling by train in Louisiana, Trimingham witnessed German prisoners of war being served in a restaurant while black soldiers, himself included, were turned away. Fueled by frustration and seeking answers, he wrote a powerful letter to Yank magazine. Here is a question that each Negro soldier is asking, he wrote. What is the Negro soldier fighting for? On whose team are we playing? This question resonated across the nation. Yank published the letter, igniting a wave of support and outrage. Trimingham received hundreds of letters echoing his anger and demanding change. Trimingham's act of bravery helped pave the way for President Truman's Executive Order 9981 in 1948, which desegregated the United States Armed Forces. It was a monumental step towards racial equality fueled by the courage of soldiers like Trimingham who dared to speak out. Did you know?